Hey everyone, this is Quantic Gamer here, and I'm back with more PS1 demos. And well, they're back for the first time in like what's been a month or even a couple of weeks, uh, adding to that. And this is UK demo number 35. And I'm looking forward to bringing back the demos because, well, they're very popular on the channel, and I also enjoy doing the demo discs as well. It takes me down so many, well, trips down memory lane. I need to stop taking those trips. Otherwise I'm going to end up hurting myself, but anyway, uh, this is my second attempt to record this demo because the PVR was being a bit uh, uh, wonky because it, it just didn't, it's been a bit strange because it didn't want to work. Alright then, so anyway, the background here looks like a, looks like a strawberry from what I'm seeing when it's zoomed in like that and it's got like the, the triangle, circle, square, X buttons on the PlayStation controller. But anyway, what games have we got? We've got Blast Radius. Circuit Breakers, Ghost in the Shell, Theme Hospital, Tommy Mackinnon, Total Driving, Treasures of the Deep, sounds interesting that one, Spice World Video, now I'm not going to view this one because it actually has uh, music on there from the Spice Girls obviously that will uh, uh, get my channel probably in trouble if I put the music on so I don't want that to happen, plus he wants to see the Spice World Video anyway, just kidding, oh yeah well if you're a huge Spice Girls fan I'm sorry but uh, and my apologies, but I, I can't really view this video, so... Anyway, a hover car racing game, I'm assuming that's uh, Net Yarrow's, Net Yarrow's video. I'm not going to view that because that's probably the same advert. The Enlightenment video, that's the same video that was viewed on UK Demo 33. So anyway, let's start with the first game, which is Blast Radius. Now, I'll know what I'm doing when it comes to... Uh, this game because well uh well if I no I don't know what I'm doing actually because uh it didn't really tell me on the first attempt when I played this demo like the exact objectives so I'm hoping the PVR doesn't conk out on me again during the second attempt it's a bit annoying that when that happens sometimes I need to take a look inside that I know I've been saying that I've been meaning to take a look inside that PVR to see what the issue is but well not take a look inside it but um. Okay, let's go to the same shop. Yeah, I went the Stealth Shadow, so select that one and just begin the mission. I know I said I've been meaning to take a look inside the, well, well, to see if there's any dust inside the PVR, but I needed to do that. Ah, these ships are out of destroyed. Okay, right, I get you now, game. I get you now. Ah, so the blue one must represent my shield. Alright, uh, so destroy these. Alright, that ship is destroyed. Where's the next one? Alright, get back here. You won't fly away from me so easily. Ah. No way had you there. Okay, a square is a target, I think, a target indicator. Yep, incoming craft detected. That'll be this one. Okay then, so... Yeah, I definitely know what I'm doing there when it comes to this. So this is going better than what happened in the first attempt. Oh, great! And as soon as I say that, I die. Of course, that's the last player jinx. The same will happen with uh, the Sonic Adventure final boss. The head detection wasn't very good, and that's probably because it's the game is like, hey, you know what, screw you, that's the last play jinx. I'll fire that on you. Alright, so Circuit Breakers is the next demo. <coughs> and I think this is the point where the demo like, or the video stopped randomly because of the PVR not working properly, but I'm hoping that it doesn't do that again. I gotta have faith. I mean, I'm sure it won't. I'm, I'm hoping it won't anyway. Hey, right, Circuit Breakers. There's a Mini Mini Cooper. Let's go, Bob. Developed by Supersonic. 
Alright, so where's Supersonic then? Why is he not flying across the screen? Alright, Mindscape. Okay, English obviously, and Drive to New Disc, which will be this one. Press select for one player game, yeah. I don't know why they would do that on like, a demo. Like, they have the select button as like a function. And... It's, it's just weird that way, because normally you would press select to end a, a particular demo you're playing on the the demo disc. See, I find that kind of weird as well, how like when you're starting this, like all the cars don't go at the same time, it, they go like one by one, and then the whoa. Okay, that, someone laid down some oil there. Not very good. Or... Ink. It looked like ink. I'm not sure. I remember this game being a bit dodgy at times because of the controls and the steering sometimes. I also remember playing this demo on the PS1 racing demo special that I did for my two year... Sorry, the sound was clipping a bit. I'm not sure if it does that normally for the PBR, but... Oh, someone fell off the edge. That bodes well. For me, and great, I fell off the edge as soon as I say that. I, f I fall off. Jinxing all the way. Right, and oh, no, no, no. oh my goodness. Ah! Okay, I'm way behind everyone else now. Yeah, I am. Doesn't really matter. I quite like the music track here. It's sort of like a. I don't know if that's really like a dubstep kind of thing. Well, I wouldn't really say dubstep, it's sort of like a a remix of a particular theme. What's the way down weapons? Is it R1? I think that's probably just speed up, I think. That I, um, that I picked up. There were maybe, well, it made me a bit taller, but I think it made me go faster through the snow. There we are. And... Ah! That had to happen, didn't it? Just had to. Oh, okay then, so... Got the speed up item. Okay, I'm not going to use that until I get to a stray bit. Alright, final lap. And we'll use it now. Wait, that looked, was that a speed up thing? It looked like it was. It looks like this is the uh, speed, uh, the boost power up. Wait, right, at least in the green thing, I'm not sure whether that's poisonous gas or anything that that I just laid down there. Oh, right, slow down a bit. Oh, I was about to say some fancy drifting there, but no. Why do I keep jinxing, jinxing myself? I don't know why I always tend to do that. Alright then. Finished. Eighth place. Yeah, that's bubbling up and down as well. You finished last. Yes, I get this. Alright, circuit breakers. Oh, I can still control this. Uh, a roller coaster race sensation. 64 unique courses, 8 breathtaking 3D worlds, back in the day it would have been anyway, great single player gameplay, awesome 2 player gameplay, 3 or 4 players of multi-tap. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about the PlayStation 4 in this video, uh, the PS4 has got a new version coming out, 1.70 I think it is, or 1.7, and this version is great news for anybody that's watching this. Uh, anybody who's looking to record on the PlayStation 4, the HDCP option can now be turned off on the PS4. So if you have the HD PVR2, you'll be able to record your PS4 gameplay data. Okay, no, I'm not one watching that. That's a video. I'm not one to watch that. And the PS4 HDCP can be turned off. 
which means like the HDPVR2, if you have that, you can only record with that. Okay, so Ghost in the Shell. So that's great news for any YouTuber that's watching this, but I just thought I'd point that out. And also, for the PlayStation 4 or for its backwards compatibility, uh, I've been thinking about why or what buttons uh, would function as the start and select buttons for the PS1 and PS2 games. And it turns out that it's not the options and share button buttons, should I say, that are the start and select buttons uh, for the the previous generation of games. It's uh, I wonder what this is, an introduction video to the Ghost in the Shell? Ghost in the Shell, uh, yeah I can read that, it's, uh, that's in the bizarre font there. This looks like an, is this an anime game? Looks like it is. That's interesting. Uh, and that the buttons that would function as the start and select buttons on the PlayStation 4 controller would be the touchpad. Because um, now this is a, a new bum, a newbie thing I'm going to say on my part. But the touchpad you can actually press. You can actually press as a button. I never thought you could actually do that. I'll just say that now, I never knew that. Okay, this seems pretty intense, this game. Alright, that's weird to say the very least. Okay, so what have we got? Alright, let's see what we got. Training start options, memory card, ranking score. Alright, mission start, we'll go with this. An assault. Mission 1, the Bay Area. Alrighty then. What do we have? Control to Kusanagi. Kusanagi here. The terrorists are definitely in the bay proximity. They're tracking us. Any fix on their command center yet? We can't get a visual by satellite, but it's set up in a warehouse. You'll have to get in and shut them down. Roger. The warehouse doors are secured and the building's made out of reinforced steel. The Fuchikomas won't be able to break through it. You're kidding. How do we get in then? Ring the doorbell? There are four key codes needed to enter the building. Take out the targets positioned along the outer perimeter in order to obtain the codes. Roger and out. I'm picking up a lot of dispersed light dead ahead. And judging by the heat emissions, it's a combat signature. All units, prepare to engage. Okay, then I'm just... What is this? Is this like a... Wait, circles to... Ah, oh, yeah. No grenades. Four more key codes. Alright, there's another guy there. Alright, they're exploding for good measure. That's what we do, I suppose. Oh, I don't have any grenades left, okay. Okay, that's easy. And okay, they, they may be robots actually. Okay, I, I actually thought those were humans. I'm like, you can't. How do you get exploding humans? Oh, that helicopter can be a bit of a nuisance, so I try to take him out. Or maybe not. Maybe he's not an enemy. I don't know. There's another machine. Take him out. 
Wait, why are they taking them out? Wait. Let me look further up in the area. Oh, I've got an energy pack. Take out another one of these guys. Oh. Is that another? Wait, where are they? Oh. Hey, don't cheap show me. Attack the target. Where though? I don't see the target, but unless if I'm wait a minute, I'm not looking at the radar. That could be a useful thing to do, client. Look at the radar, and you'll see where the target is. Of course. Alright, L1 and R1 are to strafe. And oh, 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 I'm dead. Mission failed. Mission failed. That's what Omega would say in the Sonic Heroes, but I figured that would be appropriate there since I was playing as like a robot there. Mission failed. Something like that. Okay, right. I'm not playing that again. I'm surprised it didn't give me a uh, please reset the console once you played this game option because normally it does that after you've played uh, a certain demo. All right, what's next? Is it oh theme hospital? Okay, so let's go with this. Now I might not play this game for very long because if I remember rightly, this is sort of like a simulation game for just building a hospital. It's sort of like a theme park world. I remember Retro Renegade doing a let's play of that on this channel, which I. Still haven't finished watching yet, but I will get around to finishing watching it. I mean, well, for anybody's less plays in general, I mean, I'll look back. I mean, I, I always tend to, like, watch the new stuff, but I try to watch the old stuff if I can. But again, I've got a lot of things going on in my life, like college, and I've got a lot of assignments coming up. Oh, theme hospital, yep. And... I've got a lot of assignments coming up just now, like a performance assignment, which I'm I'm doing two movements uh, out of a clarinet concerto by, oh, yeah, here we are. Dear player, welcome the, uh, welcome. the idea of this demo is to cure 20 people. You've got one year most to succeed. Before you start, a tutorial will guide you through the basics of theme hospital. We hope you enjoy this demo. Well, thank you for the warm, warm, heartwarming letter. I was going to say warm hearting uh, requesters. Buy and place down the reception desk, guys. Right, so square, uh, which will be that reception desk. All right, let's buy that and exit. All right, so wait a minute. Where do you, where would be the best place to put it? Here? Yeah. Build rooms, corridor items, increase, and then, oh there, there we are, right, so put that down there, hire a receptionist, so requester, hire staff, which will be you, remarkably polite and genial manner, and so where will I put you? Put it down. Build a GP's office. So it'll be right here. Diagnosis. GP's office. Which I will place. And. Here. Terminal and patients to the front of the queue. Alright, thank you, uh, receptionist. I was quite loud there, I didn't expect... It. Well, not quite loud, but like... I can hear you loud and clear, so yeah, the... Alright. Alright, so, resize. Okay, next. Place. Oh, the door, right, okay. Place that there. 